Lorient hosted relegation threatened Ajaccio on Sunday afternoon with both sides looking to bounce back from losses last time out. Lorient suffered a painful few days as their winless run in all competitions was extended to four games with a narrow 1-0 defeat at Nantes three days after they had been knocked out of the Coupe de France on penalties by Lens. That form has seen Les Merlus slip away from top five contention. The Ajaccio's troubles are perhaps more concerning with their brief resurgence earlier in the year long since gone. 3-0 loss to Nice last time out saw them remain firmly in the drop zone. On this occasion, it was the hosts who took control from the very beginning and were rewarded a penalty after a mere four minutes when Umar Gonzalez mindlessly handled Julian Ponso's cross. January signing, Bamba Dieng stepped up and confidently converted from the spot for his first goal since his move from Marseille. Fired into the bottom corner. After conceding first for the 20th time in 24 league games this campaign, the league's lowest scorers were left incensed when a penalty wasn't awarded at the other end in a very similar situation. Mohamed Yusuf's cross hitting Abdul Bamo Mete's arm. A quarter hour mark with both the referee and VAR saying no. As the game descended into a scrappy affair, Vincent Marchetti's free kick gave Vito Minoni his first real test. With a cross or shot, certainly heading inside the post without the Italian's intervention. However, it was another Lorient January signing that eventually showed the quality needed to grab the game's second goal. Leon Loney, Roman Fev, latching onto a loose ball in the box and Corley slotting home his first goal of the season. Nice flick. And then a great bit of anticipation. First man to react, keeping his head when through on goal. Winners of the reverse fixture in September, Emelu hadn't won consecutive league games against Ajaccio since 2017. In a great position to do so, 2-0 up at half-time. And Lorient remained far more clinical than their visitors in the second half. Also latching onto Dieng's low cross to poke home his own first of the season. Also a first in the top flight for the 22-year-old. could easily have been four. Ibrahima Kone prodded the ball in from close range, only to see it ruled out for handball. And then a series of fine saves from Benjamin Lacroix and a block or two kept the score a little more respectable during a late scramble. The keeper back to his feet. The shot blocked and then somehow extending his right foot to keep the ball the right side of the goal line simply academic in the end. They may not have been a force, but already an unprecedented scoreline. It is just the third time in 19 competitive head-to-heads. These sides have been separated by more than one goal. Lorient emphatically end their winless run and move back within four points of fifth place. Whilst Ajaccio's third consecutive defeat sees them slide to 19th.